हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ जोग्राफी ऑफ क्लास नाइन आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड द सेकेंड चैप्टर फिजिकल फीचर्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड दिस इज द थर्ड क्लास टूडे फर्स्ट आई एल शो अबाउट द टॉपिक्स दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट इज टॉपिक वन फिजियोग्राफिक डिविजन ऑफ इंडिया विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ मैप फीचर्स ऑफ हिमालयाज the classification of himalaya the first classification that will be longitudinal classification and the second classification that will be regional classification and the last topic of discussion for today is the easternmost himalayan region that is termed as purvanchal their features so the first topic is physiographic divisions of india now there are six physiographic divisions of india the himalayan mountains the northern plains the peninsular plateau the indian desert the coastal plains and the island groups now just i am pointing out all those features with the help of this map i am pointing it out just see this northern fringes of our country this is the northern mountains or we term it as a himalayan mountains just below that now we can see the state that is covering over there jammu and kashmir himachal uttarakhand uh, it is the sikkim then comes the arunachal pradesh these are the himalayan mountains and this part we are having the purvanchal the eastern extension of himalaya eastern most extension that is the purvanchal region now next we are having the states of punjab haryana uttar pradesh bihar west bengal parts of assam in this area we are having the northern plains this northwestern edge we are having great indian desert the fourth one great indian deserts now this orange part including this entire triangular structure is the peninsular plateau the northern part is central island and the southern part is deccan plateau we'll discuss all these things when we are going to proceed with this peninsular plateau i have already plotted uh, pointed the indian desert next these are the two coastal plains the western coastal plain and the eastern coastal plain and obviously the two island groups andaman nicobar island groups and lakshadweep island groups so these are the six physiographic divisions of india now today i'll discuss about the first physiographic division that is himalaya now the features of himalaya already in the previous class i have discussed that himalayas are considered as a young fold mountains so geologically they are young and structurally they are fold mountains now just now i showed the extension that they covers the northern borders of india now from which direction to which direction they were running they were running from west to east west we are having river indus and east we are having river brahmaputra so the stretch covering from indus to brahmaputra is the entire extension of himalayas now next feature is loftiest and rugged mountain barriers of the world Ro loftiest means we are having the highest peaks in this himalayan region next covers a distance of 2400 km in a form of an arc this that entire stretch that i have already pointed out the northern bound it's just forms an arc like structure and it covers nearly a distance of 2400 km and the width varies from 400 km in kashmir to 250 km in arunachal pradesh kashmir is in the western part where the width is more 400 km and arunachal pradesh in the eastern part where the width is of 150 km sorry it was not it is not 250 it's just a slip of tongue it's 150 km and the last altitudinal variations are greater in the eastern part than in the western part now what is the meaning of the altitudinal variation the altitudinal variation means like the heights of the himalayas are not even somewhere we are having two very lofty peaks just beside that we are having a comparatively mountain with a low height again we are having a lofty peak and then again a low height so the altitudinal variation is greater in the eastern part that is arunachal pradesh part and it is less in the kashmir part now next 
I am going to discuss about the classification of Himalayas. Now, longitudinally, longitudinally, now you can clearly get the meaning of the term longitude. That means longitudinally from north to south direction, the lines that are drawn. So, longitudinally, the classification of Himalayas are of three types or into three categories. Number one, Himadri. Now, the first feature of Himadri is the lots of valleys are there that lies between the ranges. Second, it is a continuous range. That means there is no such demarcation or there is no such uh, that is a breaking in between the ranges. Third, it is having the loftiest peaks. That means highest peaks are located in the first part and that is the Himadri ranges and the average height is of 6,000 meter. And another name is Greater Himalayas or Inner Himalayas. And many important prominent peaks are found in this range. Some examples I am giving like Kanchenjunga, K2, Mount Everest, Nanda Devi. All some important peaks which are having heights. It is present over there in this, zone, in this uh, range. And folds of this range are asymmetrical. In the previous only I said that altitudinal variations are there. So that is why the folds is asymmetrical. And the core of this part is composed of granite. Now, this is a big question. Himalayas are outcome of the folding of the Tethys Sea, which was filled up by the sediments. Then why it is being said that it is composed of granite? Because it is due to the collision of the two plates, Eurasian plate and Indo-Australian plate. So the base that was subdued below the Eurasian plate that is the smaller plate was Indo-Australian plate and it was subdued or subducted under the Eurasian plate and that Indo-Australian plate is a formation or has a composition of granite because it is a continental plate part of Pangaea Gondwana land which is composed of granite so the base of uh, that is Himalaya that is Himadri is granitic in nature and as it is the highest peaks so there are number of glaciers that is present over here so these are the features of the first category of the longitudinal classification that is himadri now the next category or the next classification is himachal now what are its features as it is just below the Himadri, so we can say it lies south of Himadri ranges. Now forms the most rugged mountain system. That means it is not a continuous one. It is uneven. It is rugged. Composed of highly compressed and altered rocks. Now here the rocks are compressed and altered. So what is the name we can use to denote this type of rock? That is metamorphic rocks. Himadri is having the composition of granite that is igneous structure. Himachal is composed of metamorphic rocks. Now the altitude varies from 3700 meter to 4500 meter. Average width is of 50 kilometer. Next we are having the famous valleys and hill stations are situated over here. Now hopefully you have heard about the valleys Kulu Valley, Kangra Valley. Hill stations are also important over here. The important hill stations are located in this region. And some important prominent ranges are also there. Like Mahabharat ranges, Peer Panjal ranges, Dholadhar ranges. All are situated in this category of classification. Lastly, it is also named as Lesser Himalaya. So these are the features of Second category that is Himachal Himalayas. Third is Shivalik Ranges. This is the third classification of the uh, Himalayas longitudinally. This is the outermost range of Himalayas. Then comes the width which is 10 km to 50 km which varies from 10 to 50 km. And its altitude or height also varies from 900 m to 1100 meter that means these are comparatively lower in height and as the glaciers are there in the first 
so continuously rivers have originated from those glaciers and they carries the sediments so the lower part of the himalaya is composed of consider unconsolidated sediments by mistake it is mentioned over here consolidated it will be unconsolidated that is not compacted unconsolidated sediments composed of thick gravel and alluvium so just make a correction over here by mistake it is written un, uh, consolidated it will be unconsolidated composed of unconsolidated sediments next valleys lying in these region now between uh, the two mountain the valley that is lying over here in this region it is termed as duns and the very common name is dehradun patli dun kotli dun which is there in this region so these are the features of the three longitudinal classification of himalayas now i'm just pointing out the classification with the help of map you can see this west east direction of himalayan ranges and according to the longitudinal order that is from north to south it is classified into three categories the northern part this is the light blue color shows the greater himalayas that is the himadri ranges just a narrow fringes just below that that is south of himadri is the himachal ranges and the third fringe which is south of himachal is the shivalik or the outer himalayas so this is the location or the way the classification of himalaya is done longitudinally now i'm going to proceed with the next classification regional classification of himalayas now the himalayas have originated or it has given origin to many perennial rivers so due to the origin of the many perennial rivers the next classification is based upon the river valleys or between the two rivers so the first classification or the first category is punjab or kashmir or himachal himalayas now just see this this is river indus and river satluj where the himalaya that is situated is named as either punjab himalaya or kashmir himalaya or himachal himalayas now next we are having the river satluj and kali in between river satluj and kali the himalaya that is situated it is termed as kumayun himalaya the third regional classification is between kali and tista river kali and river tista here the himalaya that exists is named as nepal himalaya and the last classification between tista and dihang this entire stretch it is termed as assam himalaya so this classification is based upon the river valleys indus satluj punjab satluj kali is kumayu kali tista is nepal and tista dihang is assam himalaya so this is the regional classification of himalaya now the last topic of today's discussion the easternmost extension part of our country is also having the edge of himalayan extension now what are its feature first let me discuss the feature then i'll plot it with the help of the map now as i said easternmost boundary of the himalaya now i have pointed out that over there it is a river brahmaputra so the extension is being demarcated by the brahmaputra now it bends towards its south from the hangoch it is composed of sandstone that means it is a sedimentary track we all know that this is the area of heavy rainfall so it is covered with dense forest the valleys are also there and the ranges are parallel to each other now the naga hills manipur hills mizo hills there are many garo khasi jaintia many hills are situated they are parallel to each other so these are some of the features of purvanchal now i'm just another is there it is named as purvanchal why purv anchal purv ka anchal means purv means e anchal means zone so that is why it is termed as purvanchal so i'm going to show this with the help of the map now just see this is the eastern extension of our country you can see the seven sisters of our country upper this is greater himalaya means the himadri region and here comes our 
पूर्वांचल एक्सटेंशन यू कैन सी द नेम ऑफ द हिल्स नागा हिल्स मिजो हिल्स गारो खासी जयंतिया पाटकाई बाम दिस इज द दिहांग ब्रह्मपुत्र रिवर एंड दिस एंटायर एक्सटेंड शोज द रीजन ऑफ पूर्वांचल और द ईस्टर्न मोस्ट हिमालयन रीजन नाउ आई एम जस्ट पॉइंटिंग आउट आई हैव गिवन वन क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस एंटायर डिस्कशन द क्वेश्चन दैट इज गिवन ओवर हियर मेक अ कंपेरेटिव स्टडी बिटवीन द लॉन्जिट्यूटल क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इंडिया दो ऑल द फीचर्स आर गिवन ओवर हियर यू हैव टू राइट द कंपेरेटिव स्टडी इन अ टैबुलर फॉर्म बाय गिविंग द बेसिस फॉर इट दैट वेदर यू आर मैंशनिंग अबाउट द हाइट वेदर यू आर मैंशनिंग अबाउट द कॉम्पोजिशन वेदर यू आर मैंशनिंग अबाउट द वेट whether you are mentioning about its nature whatever it is its specific feature so you have to give the criteria or the basis and then you have to jot down the comparative study of all the three categories of uh, that is longitudinal classification of himalaya if you are having any doubts just mention your doubts in the comment section and thank you for following the class